Welcome back to Cord Cutters LI, where we help to save you money on your cable bill. Well, with all of the changes Amazon is making to their streaming device, the Fire Sticks and the Fire TV Cubes, everyone seems to be running to the Google TV and Android TV streaming devices. As a result, more and more people are hitting me up in the comments and emails and on Twitter asking me, well, how do you do this and how do you do that on these devices? For example, here I am on Walmart's new on 4K streaming box with Google TV. And as you can see, this home screen is just loaded with stuff that they want to sell you. From way at the top, they have this bar that's going to scroll, you know, all through this stuff that you can watch, pay for, etc. And all these other things that are on here, just itching to want you to, to buy stuff. Well, what if I was to say to you that you can just press one button and poof, with one tap of the button, all that stuff is gone leaving you with just the apps that you want to see with a beautiful wallpaper of your choice. You can scroll up and down. You can open up any of the apps in here. Just a nice, clean, crisp screen with all of your apps, just the way you want them. Fully customizable. You can show the apps that you want to show. You can hide the apps that you don't want to show. You can even change the shape of some of the icons and so on. That's what I'm going to show you here in today's video. So if you're ready to get rid of all that clutter and all those ads on your Google TV or Android TV streaming device, sit back, relax, and let's go. All right, so to make all this magic happen, there are just three apps that you need to install on your device. It's a one-time deal, it won't take too long, and once it's all set up, you won't have to do anything else. Two of the apps are available in the Google Play Store for free, and the last one is available at the Cord Cutters LI website, and I'll tell you how to get all that right now so let's go up to the top and let's move over to the magnifying glass go down to where it says search movie shows and apps click on that and now let's search for button mapper now you can either use the voice button like i did or you can just type it in whichever you prefer and then click on the install button this app is going to allow us to change one of the buttons on our remote to open up that launcher that i showed you earlier No need to open this one up quite yet. Let's just go ahead and hit the back button. And now let's search for another one. This one is called Downloader. Now I'm sure most of you already have Downloader and if you do, you can skip this step. But for those of you that don't, let's go ahead and click on Downloader and install it. Downloader is the app that's going to allow us to download and install an app from the Cord Cutters LI website which is the key app that we need to make all this work. So let's go ahead and open it up. First time you open it up, you need to click the allow button. It will need access to the files on your device. And then you can click okay here. Now where it says enter a URL or a search term, you can either type in cordcuttersli.com or you can just type in the short code for my website, which is 89364. Enter. That's going to redirect you in five short seconds to the cordcuttersli.com website. Just to make sure you didn't mistype that address. To make it a little easier to navigate around, let's long press the select button and pick full screen mode. Now let's move over to the menu, those three lines, click on that, then down to tutorials and open that up. Here on the tutorials page, you're going to see a bunch of apps that you can feel free to install. All of them are available in different categories and so on. Have a look around for yourself and you will see, I'm sure, something that's of interest to you. What we're interested in today is right at the top of the list under Fire TV, Google TV, Android TV Utilities. And it says Wolf Launcher for Google TV and so on. Updated March 2024. This brings you to the tutorial page on how to install the app, gives you some information about it. You can scroll down all the way down towards the bottom, right here where it says Wolf Launcher for Google TV Android. Move over to the right and click the download button. Now I found this is the easier way to do this. Um, Downloader does need a security permission to allow us to install the app from Downloader. So let's go ahead and click the settings button and move down to where it says downloader, where it says not allowed, just toggle that to allowed and then click the back button and install. 
Now I've already installed Wolf Launcher on my device, so I'm not gonna do it here. So for me, I'm gonna hit cancel. After it's installed on your device, you'll see this screen so you can click delete and then delete again because you're not gonna need that installation file any longer. Back at that Wolf Launcher tutorials page, you'll see this here where it says click here for free wallpapers for use with Wolf Launcher. So let's go ahead and download a couple of these. Let's click on this. This will bring you to a page where you can have, I've uploaded three different wallpapers that you can choose from. Let's go ahead and pick a couple of them. We'll download the beach 4K image. These will make sense to you in a little bit. Click done. Don't open or delete it. And then let's move down and we'll pick, let's say we'll go down to this desert scene and we'll pick this button as well. and then click done. This may not make much sense to you yet, but trust me, it will. Sit tight. Click the home button. March is here, and with that comes one of the best prices for IP Vanish all year. If you're in the market for a VPN to keep you connected and protected while streaming or even on your cell phone, out in public, on your computer or laptop, all your devices for that matter, now is the time to pick it up. As you can see here, it's on sale 78% off the full price way less than $3 a month at $2.75 a month. Fully refundable up to 30 days. If you give it a shot, you don't like it, it doesn't do what you want it to do, you get your money back, so you really have nothing to lose. This is the VPN that I use, trust, and recommend. So if you do want to check it out and click on that link below, I'd really appreciate it. It does help to support the Cord Cutters I Like channel. All right, so being that this is Google TV, all of your apps, including the ones that we just installed, are gonna be on this apps bar. Wolf Launcher here is in the middle. Like I said, I already had this installed. So you can go ahead and open up Wolf Launcher. I've already got Wolf Launcher set up kind of the way I want it, but I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is to set it up. Now you can set up yours however you like. The way I have mine set up is I, had, I picked a nice wallpaper to use. And then at the top, I have it set up that my everyday apps, these are the apps I'm gonna be using all the time, are at the top and they're bigger than the rest. Below that, I have what the, what I call less used apps. These are apps that I use, you know, from time to time, but not very often. And then down at the bottom, I have utility apps. And you can add as many sections as you want here, and you can name them whatever you want. And the way to do that is just anywhere on the screen, you can long press the select button, and you'll see lots of options here in a menu. Let's start by going down to Launcher Settings. And this is where you'll set up the sections. If you haven't added any sections, all you're gonna see here is probably widgets. But let's go into Manage Sections. You can add a section down here, and you can also move these up and down. So I've added one called Everyday Apps, I've added one called Less Used, and then I've added one called Utility. And you can move them up and down if you want to. So you like this, and then just drop them. When you're all set, you can click Close. Next thing on the list is Wallpaper. So let's go ahead and pick the wallpaper that we wanna use. We're gonna go down to select wallpaper. And this is where you'll need to navigate to the downloader folder where you put those two images that we downloaded. So scroll down to where it says download and then downloader. And here are the images that we picked earlier. I've already got the beach wallpaper set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it just to show you how it works. Go ahead and click desert scene. After just a moment, the wallpaper will change to that desert scene. Trust me, it will. There we go. I long pressed on one of the apps and you can go to configure and you can change what that app looks like. So you can go down to change it, the border. See how it's getting rounder or square. I'm gonna leave this one square. See, as you saw here on IP Vanish and YouTube, I made those fully rounded and you can change this however you'd like, it doesn't really matter. Again, back to long press, back into some settings. If you wanna move one of these apps to one of the different sections, this is where you would say move to section and you can pick the other sections where you wanna, where you wanna put it. So I'm not gonna move it, I've got them right now where I want them. Let's go back into launcher settings. This is one of my favorites, we go into hidden apps. This will allow us to hide certain apps from the screen. You know, some of them you don't need to see on the screen all the time. Like for example, button mapper that we're gonna use in a little bit. I'll show you about that. Um, I'm hiding that. Um, 
also play games, play movies. Some of these apps, you know, I'm not really going to need to go into the settings. I don't need that. I've got the gear on the remote for that. So you can just go ahead and hide whatever apps you want. The rest of them will be visible on the screen. There's some other settings in the status bar. You can turn on the clock, the date, the network icon, and so on, that kind of stuff that's up at the top. You notice up at the top there where it says Google TV? It doesn't know by itself that that's Google TV, and I'll show you how to change that to something else. Go ahead and long press anywhere, and then go to other settings. Down at the bottom here, you can change this to whatever you want. You can remove the logo so there's nothing there. If it's a fire stick, you can change it to that, shield, and so on. This is Google TV, so I've picked that and I've hit save. One more thing I want to show you under launcher settings. This is under sections. This is where you'll change the size of the apps. So you go into the, in this case, the everyday apps. These are the ones that I want to be the biggest. So let's go into that section. And as you can see here, you can set the number of columns that you can have those apps. So you can make them as small or as big as you want to. Let's leave it like that, that's pretty cool. The apps that we use every day are huge, front and center, and then we've got the ones that we don't use all the time down below. So now if we click home, it's gonna go back to our old school home screen. So there's no easy way to reprogram the home button um, to go to the Wolf Launcher, you know, no ads, no clutter screen. Um, so there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can either do it the long way of putting the Wolf Launcher right front and center on your apps bar and just open it up whenever you want to, or we can scroll over and utilize the Button Mapper app that we installed earlier. So let's go ahead and open that up. Now it tells you here that we need to turn on some accessibility um, to allow the Button Mapper to function. So we need to do that just once. Let's move over to click OK. It's gonna bring us out to the settings. Let's move back once, back again, go into system, and then accessibility. And if you scroll all the way down, it says button mapper. Currently it says off, we're gonna change that to on. Click okay. So that brings you back into the button mapper app. And what we wanna do here is add a button. Go down to add buttons. Now what I wanna do is I wanna reprogram my Paramount Plus button here. This I don't have Paramount Plus, never gonna have it. So whenever I press that Paramount Plus button, I want the Wolf Launcher to launch up and get rid of all those ads and all that clutter. All right, so the Paramount Plus button is the one I wanna add. So at this screen, just go ahead and click that button once. Now let's move down and select it. So we're gonna tell it what to do. Don't worry about unlocking the pro feature. We don't need pro feature for this function. Click no thanks. Let's move down to where it says customize, click that. And now let's move down to single tap. So when we single tap that Paramount Plus button, I want it to open up an app. So let's go to applications, scroll all the way down to Wolf Launcher and select that. Now we're almost there. Let's click the back button a couple of times and go down to troubleshooting. This step may or may not be necessary, but I feel that it's probably best just to do it right off the bat because sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But if you set this, it will most likely always work. Go into troubleshooting and then go down to where it says alternate button handling and select that. So that's it. Now you can hit the home button and now we're ready. So now whenever we hit this Paramount Plus button, watch what happens. It brings you right into that screen with none of those apps, none of that clutter just the apps that we want to see. So there you go, step-by-step, step, how to get rid of that cluttered home screen on your Google TV or Android TV streaming device. I know that was a lot to take in, so feel free to watch the video once or twice before you give this a try. As I said, pause and start the video as needed. Just follow these steps one by one and you'll get there and it will be easy. And once it's all set up, you're all set. Nothing more to do. I should mention that in my case, I use that Paramount Plus button. So you can use any of the app buttons. Chances are one of these four buttons is it, you know, for an app that you don't have or don't want or don't need. So if you got anything out of all this, please go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, share this and all of your favorite Cord Cutters Alive videos with your friends. This not only helps to get my video shown to more people on YouTube, it also helps to support the channel. Thanks for watching.